hey everybody let's check out another cool old lincoln tonight another big suicide lincoln continental these cars are so cool they're getting so popular and really hard to find so i was glad to pick up a couple of them here recently tonight we're going to take a look at this 1968 we've got a 1962 sitting right on the other side of it that came in recently as well so be sure to go back and check out the video on that 62 continental and check out what it looks like this old 68 here mostly intact been sitting for a long time pretty much a parts car but still a lot of good parts there starting off with right back here these super cool rip tail lights these things look awesome the way they stick off the back of this car right at the tip of it on both sides got the super cool flip up trunk ornament that these lincoln's had and these panels down here in the butt in the back as well these are just neat old cars they're big but they're neat we come down this side of the car it's got a little bit of rust starting in the quarters but not bad i mean it's cars over 50 years old at this point doors are tied shut here this door must not have been latched correctly because they got them tied shut from before this fender's banged up a little bit but like i said for the most part the car is intact we come around the front we've got one banged up park light but the nose is here the grill's here the big lincoln ornament right in the front big statement piece on that big flat nose these are just cool cars and you just don't see them that often anymore. Here's the 62 we were telling you about. Be sure to check the video out on that one as well. This 68 here, let's take a peek under the hood. See that big massive Ford V8? Carburetor's gone, radiator's gone, a few pieces missing off of this thing. But uh, all the stuff around the engine's all still pretty much intact. This is kind of cool. Air conditioned by Lincoln Continental Ford Motor Company, Dearborn, Michigan. They really wanted to brand these cars. They wanted everybody to know what they had. You were driving a Lincoln Continental. This had a really cool ridge down the side with trim on them. They even incorporated the mirror base right into the molding and kept it a smooth flow all the way down the side of these old Lincolns. Inside here, Pretty much intact, just aged and weathered. Big cool dash with kind of a pod here with all your information in it. Missing a switch panel over here, but it looks like it's all laying there on the front seat. These things even had cool seat belts. The buttons on the seat belt even had Lincoln on them. Had the Lincoln ornament in the center of the steering wheel. These things were luxury cars. You were driving a top of the line, first class Lincoln, and they didn't want you to forget it. That's why they put their symbol everywhere on these old cars. These things are cool. A lot of them didn't survive. These things were super tough. A lot of these cars ended up in demolition derbies. They were used cars, beat up cars that just got wore out, used up and thrown away and so hard to find any of these old suicide Lincolns anymore. So. I didn't have any of them in the yard till I got these two right here, so I was definitely glad to add those two to the yard. Hope you like this 68. And check, be sure to check out the 62 as well. If you got any questions about either one of these Lincolns or any of the other 1,500 cars and trucks that we've got on the ground right now, be sure to give me a call, 620-786-4428. That's my cell number. Give me a shout. We can have a quick conversation about your project, year, make, model, body style, the parts you need or what you're looking for for a project. Having that quick conversation is the only way I'm gonna get all the information that I need to know if I have something here that may be able to help you out. You like these Lincolns, you like old cars and trucks and memorabilia, be sure to check out my channel. Be sure to click that subscribe button and definitely click that notification button as well. We do some cool live stuff on here and you're definitely gonna know when we're live or when we post a new video because you never know what's gonna roll into the yard next. Just like these two super cool suicide Lincolns. As we bring stuff into the yard, we post them up here so you guys can check them out. So thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned. we got a lot more cool stuff coming in. I've had a ton of inventory coming in. We've got a lot more cool videos coming up. And we'll see you soon on the next one.